Okay, this video is going to be a long one because now for absolutely no reason except who else is going to do it, I'm going to show off all the covers to Dark Horse Presents Volume 1. That's 157 issues. Bought these all off the stands as they came out. Uh, so I have all the issues still. And this is Dark Horse Presents number one. That's Black Cross by Chris Warner was his name. This this is the one that I remember I remember getting this and really liking Black Cross by Chris Warner. So that that's the very first issue. Then the second issue. We get Concrete. I think this is the first appearance of Concrete too, Paul Chadwick. I remember enjoying Concrete very much when it came out. Let, let's see, who is this? Uh Mind Walk? I have no clue. Is that Randy Emberlin, 86? We get Boris the Bear, Black Cross, Concrete, and Mind Walk. Don't even remember that. I haven't read these <laughs> in a long, long time. Trekker, I remember. Ron Randall. That was a pretty good series. I think it had some individual issues, too, and has been collected over the years. Uh, she's a bounty hunter in a sci-fi kind of world. You get Concrete, some more Mind Walk, some more Boris the Bear. And we get... Uh, three. I must have missed this issue somehow because that's got a three dollar price tag on it. Um, I'm and I had this on my pull list from the beginning, but somehow I must have missed issue three and then picked it up. What does it say? Fourteen times down there. I don't know. It's fourteen X. Paul Glacey cover. Trekker concrete and Roma. Whoever Roma might be. Here's Roma right here. Dark Horse presents number. Oh, John Workman did Roma. That's in. I wonder if he did the. Uh, he, John Workman, the uh, letterer, did this cover here. Concrete Trekker, Doc Abstruse. Wonder who that was. And we got uh, Dark Horse presents Mono. Oh, Monk, Monk, M O N Q. The Vitruvian Man. That's the Da Vinci drawing right down there. The Vitruvian Man. More Doc Abstruse. I don't recognize a single one of those in Dark Horse Presents number seven. Then we come, oh, 1987 Kirby Award nominee, number eight, we're back to Roma, Vitruvian Man, and some concrete. Certainly recognize concrete. More Vitruvian Man, Galacy and Nichols, 87. Look at that. He can ski, he can swim, he can fence, he can throw a boomerang. He can do some karate, and he can shoot you. I guess the Vitruvian man can do a lot of stuff. You know what? I should turn these upside down so I can put them away easier. And we can see what's on the back. Mind Walk. Black Cross. Concrete. Concrete Ad. Trekker by Ron Randall. The Mark. I remember I got that one in Mecca. Best black and white comic, Dark Horse Presents, 1987 Kirby Awards. A Trekker ad. I was at on sale in July. Is that a new one? Then we get two to get. Oh, The Mask. This must be the first appearance of The Mask. Soul Survivors. Concrete. Boris the Bear. Wacky Squirrel. Okay. What is this? I, oh, is that the mask? I see that face there. Forgotten, Roma, and the mask. Wow, I, I don't remember. I mean, it was a long time ago. Um, new Galaf isn't big enough for two bounty hunters. I guess Trekker got her own series. I remember buying the Trekker series. I still have it somewhere. Dark Horse, Prometheus Principle, Mask, and Concrete. Uh, issue 13, Captain Crusader, Mask, and Babes in Arms. I guess that's Babes in Arms. Don't remember that one either. Oh, I remember that. What is it? The American. The first few issues of that were really good. Mark Verheiden, Chris Warner. He's the guy who did uh, Black Mask, so it did Black Cross, so it had some good art. And Art Nichols on the inks. Look at that. I remember having this one. Insane. So... Dark Horse Presents, Mask, Mr. Monster, Concrete, there's some early... Paul Chadwick and Michael T. Gilbert. I guess they uh, jammed out that cover. Uh, let's grab some more. 
Where's what do we got here? This must be the I don't see a number on that one, but there's babes in arms. Captain Crusader. Shouldn't this have a number on it? 87. Babes in Arms, Mask, and Captain Crusader. I do not remember Captain Crusader in the least. Trouble with Girls. I never got into that one. Here's number 16. A Sky of Heads. That was a weird story. I remember that one. It was just, um, wasn't a concrete story. It was a, the, they were like in some limbo afterlife where these heads would just float by and tell each other stories. Paleo Love, Captain Crusader. We got here Spoo Spume, Muzzy, and Woim, and Roachmail. Oh, look at that, Roachmail. I remember him. He used to have his own series. Aliens ad on the back. Dark Horse Presents. Mask. Bob, I remember Bob the Alien. He was pretty cool. Sky of Heads, still. Godzilla ad on the back of that one. So we have here Mask, the Sack Murder, and Bob the Alien introducing Bourbon Threat. Is that, um. Oh, that's what's his name? Oh, uh, Jeff Darrow? Oh, I guess so. I don't remember this Jeff Darrow. Oh, the Sack Murder is Richard, uh, Rick Geary. Dark Horse presents an Oh, there's the annual right there. I must have. St uh, it's issue 20 and an annual. Mr. Monster, Black Cross is back, Trekker. Concrete, Mind Walk is back, Mask, and some Flaming Carrots. 64 page giant. Paul Chadwick, little end piece. 21 has got Mask. I remember liking Delia and Celia and some Trekker. There's like a sci fi one with two women. Concrete, the American. Some more Concrete Reflections. I don't know what that is. Trekker. Back has the same ad as the last issue. What do we have here? And the children too, and the children too. Ready, aim, fire. Who does? Oh, uh, William Stout cover. Look at that. Race of Scorpions. I remember being good. Gateway to Hell and Filipino Massacre. I don't know what they are. Before Afghanistan, before Auschwitz, there was the Philippines. Oh yeah, there was a uh, genocide going on in the Philippines. This, this must have something to do with it. More th that same ad again. DHP. We got aliens. Race of Scorpions, I don't... Oh, Homicide, I think, was a um, John R. Cootie story. Was that that one? I don't remember. Some aliens in here in issue 24, first aliens cover. Concrete on the back. Leo Duran, Duranio, he's, I think he's the Race of Scorpions guy. That's the, that's the look of it. Twilight of Lang Langdaro and Homicide again. What do we got here? Twilight of Langdaro. Guy da is that Guy Davis' signature? Is that a Guy Davis drawing? Look at that. Homicide, Race of Scorpions. The word is getting around. Roach Mill, with a little concrete ad there. More races, more of that uh, Leo Duran Duranio guy. Homicide for better or worse. Hey, that's a comic strip, not a comic book. Very European looking art here. He must that must have come from Europe. Faces, only a dark horse come. Only a fan could love. Okay. What do we got? 40, uh, 48 pages in issue 28, 1989. Introducing The Zone. That's by Michael Kreger. I worked with him in the Marvel bullpen in the 90s. Uh, nice guy. Uh, another startling homicide case. There's that detective noir one. Concrete, Roach Mill. Also, a haunting tale of terror featuring Mr. Monster and the old cartoonist. That's the zone up there, Michael Kreger's character. Nice Mr. Monster back cover there. Good issue 29, Pressed for Time, Bob the Alien, Homicide. That's a homicide cover. Weird coloring on that cover. What do we have here? Oh, look, an ad for Big. DHV. P. Norwood. I remember there being a Phil Norwood. I don't know why. Project Overkill. Bob the Alien is back. It's a comedy one. Race of Scorpions. More big. Dark Horse presented more Race of Scorpions. Bob the Alien and Michael Krager's Zone. What else we got here? Let's grab it. Oh, it looks like a 
another annual for issue 32. Looks like they put their annuals right in, uh, right in the regular series because it's issue 32. The Americans back, Celia and Delia are back, Bob the Alien, Race of Scorpion, Zone, Bacchus. Oh, that must be the first time that, uh, ooh, what's his name? Can Eddie Campbell's Bacchus showed up. I, I bought a collected edition of that a few years ago. It's really, really good read. There's two big omnibuses of Bacchus. Nice concrete piece on the back. What we got here? 48 page summer bonus blowout special. Race zone. Mike and Viv go to Vegas. And that's oh, um, a Mr. Monster cover. An ad for Dark Horse in general. What are we? Oh, another alien cover. Race of Scorpions, Zone, and Aliens. Another Aliens cover. Oh, Predator cover. Predator, Heartbreakers. Ooh, I vaguely remember that. A Tough Nut to Crack. No idea what that is. Aliens. Four issue miniseries. Here we go. Aliens versus Predator. Heartbreakers again. I think that was like a military marine. Delia and Celia are back. I always enjoyed when Delia and Celia showed up. Aliens vs. Predator. Oh, there's a Predator paint, Aliens painted one. Delia and Celia. Bacchus. This, yeah, this is Heartbreakers. This was the military type one. I guess there's an all-female military squad. This bunny bites. <laughs> Celia and Delia. That's a, that's a nice look. Oh, yeah, I think it's Guy Davis. Is that... that? I could look it up, but I think that's a Guy Davis signature. This may be the first place I ran into Guy Davis who later went on to draw Sandman Mystery Theater among stuff. I'm not sure, but I think that's him. Dark Horse Presents, Delia and Celia, Mary the Elephant, I don't remember. Concrete, nice another Paul Chadwick one. Adventures of Luther Arkwright there. Delia and Celia, Bob the Ale. All right, I have to look up and see if that's Guy Davis now. It's driving me bonkers. Hold on one second. We're going to look on the inside, see which guy it is. Uh, Gary Davis, completely different Davis, see? Not Guy Davis, Gary Davis. So I never saw Guy Davis in here. Gary Davis is a completely different guy. I'm glad I checked that. It was driving me a little crazy. I didn't remember Guy Davis and DHP. Trekker, Bob the Alien, Delia and Celia. And we want to give Gary Davis his proper credit. Exquisite Corpse. This was an interesting book. I still have it. It's three... There's there's a yellow, a red, and a green, and it's a story. You can read them in any order. You can read green, you can read green, red, yellow. You can read yellow, green. It, it's just that's how it's built. It's pretty interesting. Trekker, Bacchus again, the Argosy, and introducing Matt Wagner's newest creation, the Aerialist. I remember not liking the Aerialist that much, and that it, it was a little too ob. The, the, it was one of those stories that had a message, and it was a little too obvious. I think the Aerialist was like. Uh, in a world that didn't accept heterosexuality, when everybody was a homosexual, except the aerialist was a heterosexual, and he got, you know, put upon. It was just like, it was an obvious message. And I went, you know what, you, you could do that message a little better. So that, that's the only reason I didn't like the aerialist when I was reading it. But it's been a lot of years, maybe I'd like it better now. Uh, same story you told yesterday, Trekker. The Argosy, I don't remember at all. Aliens Earth War, Kings in Disguise, the Argosy, and Aliens. Some more alien, Torn Apart Robot. But Kings in Disguise being pretty good. It was like a a story about a bunch of ragamuffin kids living on the street. So give me liberty. Another alien cover that doesn't particularly impress me, but <laughs> Jacob and the Vulture, the Argosy, and Aliens. I don't remember the Argosy at all. Lower Broadway, Bacchus, First Love, Crash Ryan, I remember. It was supposed to be like a uh, a 30s serial type thing. I think that's more Rick Geary, I'm not sure. The line looks a little different than I'm used to. Some more Bacchus, The Aerialist by Matt Wagner, Pilgrim Souls, I don't remember. Crash Ryan, more of that 30s serial stuff. Mobius, Bacchus, Crash Ryan, Predator. Jungle of the Giants. I guess it's a giant monster fight. Burnout? Don't remember. Monster? I guess this is an old giant monster issue, number 47. DHB Downtown, Homicide, Harlequin. Don't know what that is. I guess that's the Harlequin. Before there was Harlequin. Oh, Dark Horse Trading Cards inside. I wonder uh, if 
I had, they must still be in there. I don't know why I'd take them out. But I don't feel them. Celebrating five years of excellence. Hip Deep, ha more Harlequin, whoever that is, more Heartbreakers. Dark Horse Trading Cards inside. Uh, Frank Miller, First Sin City. More Harley Quinn, more Heartbreakers. That brings us up to 51. Let's see what else we got. Like I said, this, this one's going to be going for a little while. Got a Bacchus cover on 52. Bacchus Heartbreakers, Sin City. There's Marv with his, uh, his Band-Aids on. Nice Sin City cover. Arcudian, Mo I guess that's Gray Morrow is doing Homicide now. Nina Paley's Cute Kitty, Frank Miller's Sin City. Dead Face, more, another Dead Face ad. Rick Geary's Hotline, oh, Homicide by John Arcudi and Gray Morrow. Look at that. I remember John Arcudi's the writer. I couldn't remember who the artist was, but I don't know if J Gray Morrow did all of them. Uh, John Burns' Next Men, Frank Miller's Sin City. You got some real uh, deadline. Look at that. John Burns' Next Men, Arcudi's Homicide, those wacky Earth Boys, and some more Sin City. Nice Frank Miller cover on that one. Uh-oh. Our battery seems to be running out. Giant Size Dark Horse Annual, number 56. All right. Silver Anniversary Issue. Aliens, Earth Boys, Marv's First Date, another big one. Oh, that's some Rick Geary on the back. Here comes Dark Horse present another 48, a 48 page post annual. Man, I didn't realize they did so many annuals. Remember when we introduced Marv? Now we continue the, the, the next man. Can you guess why the next men are different? The Creep, that's another John R. Cootie story. Star Wars Dark Empire. Here we go, Frank Miller's Sin City. Homicide, Alien Fire. Oh, I remember Smith and Vincent's Alien Fire. That's a pretty neat cover. Homicide, Harlequin, Downtown. More Dark Horse trading cards inside. Fifty-nine. More uh, and more Alien Fire. More from Rick Geary. This is where I first discovered Rick Geary is in DHP. So we're up to fifty-nine. You know what? Since the battery's running out on this, I'm gonna switch batteries and we'll we'll break this into a couple pieces. Maybe we'll break it into three pieces. Let's see. 